Hey y'all, it's me again. Ooh, my ponytail come a little undone, but y'all know I do not care. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about the power of I'm sorry. Not too many people experience that. Not too many people get that from the ones that they love or love them or should be loving them. I learned that just because my expectation of how I want to be loved is one way of viewing things does not mean that the person I'm expecting it from is going to be that way. And even if I don't respect that or agree with that, I have to accept it Um, because that's their truth, that's the truth, and at the end of the day, everyone has free will to decide on what they want to do. I learned that you'll never get an apology from those who truly don't care, and even if you did get an apology, which is to offer an excuse and a genuine I'm sorry, the only thing that's going to be different is if they change the behavior. Um, and which landed them and you in that particular spot, if you will, feeling, circumstance, situation, um, and what have you. And a habit is hard to break, you know. I've I've got a bad temper um, if I decide to show my ass because of the things that I've been through in life and not feeling like I was ever respected or heard that my feelings, my emotions, and my mental and spiritual state were invalidated and treated like trash because they were. I was abused in many, many different ways, okay? Um, And I have become very angry, not bitter, but angry because when I feel like I'm being triggered to experience those things again. You know, it can get to that point where it can be violent. Um, And I have spent time behind that, uh, not being able to control that. Now it's better because I'm older. Um, But if you've ever seen my dragon, trust me, when I was younger, it was much worse. And I got into more trouble that led me places where I had to sit down and do fucking time because of it. Um, I'm glad that that is in my past and that I have learned from that, but it took a long time. So the power in saying that you're sorry goes a long way. I owe it to myself. I owe it to my son to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not being better than I was when I could have made different choices Um, for you, for me, in my life, that had I made different choices, would have had more positive results. Um, You know, we were taught that Well, I was, when I was growing up, I was disciplined with, you know, switches and belts and verbal abuse. And it's just, you know, being punched in the face, slammed on coffee tables, got my head slammed in a pantry, like shit went down, you know, after being whipped with a switch and being whipped till I bled, I was sat in a hot tub of water that was scolding. Um, when I was younger, I fell out a third story window, damn near broke everything in me. And while being in a hospital bed was being beaten in that bed because I was trying to alert my family that I was being essayed at home and I was being slapped in the face and told to shut up and all these things, all while I'm fighting for my life and 
um, having to learn how to walk again. So those are just little details. And so when I was raising my son and young, instead of sitting down and talking to him and getting to acknowledge his feelings and his point of view, it was just my point of view, my way or the highway. And if you didn't listen, and I had to tell you enough times, just like a lot of Black parents, and not just Black parents, but any parents that were raised with, if they don't listen, you you, you, you spank your child, you beat your child, uh, flip-flop, hand, belt, you name it, stension cord, brooms. You know, we were taught to do that, to discipline our children, um, to instill fear so that when we spoke to them and said something, they wouldn't question us. They would do what we said. Um, and a lot of times it was do what I said, but not as, not as I do. And that was wrong in itself. Um, the phone call. <clears throat> so for that, I'm sorry, Malik. Um, there's nothing else that I could say, you know, you grown now. Um, and for anything else that I could be sorry about, like, you know, you know, just using drugs and alcohol, you know, and not making the best decisions because I'm not knowing how to cope with my emotions and my problems and just, you know, exposing you to just not being the best uh, when I wasn't the best. You know what I mean? I, I wasn't a terrible mom. You said so yourself. So I thank you for that confirmation. Because, um, you know, sometimes we forget that everything wasn't all bad. But uh, there is power, and I'm sorry. And there's more power in meaning it and meaning it in love. Because um, you realize that life is short. We ain't going to be here forever. And if I could put your heart at ease or anyone else that I've ever hurt or disrespected, because I done did some shit, I'm sorry. And I wish that I could take it back, but I can't. So the only thing I can do is go forward. And I wish that what I'm giving, I actually got for myself, but again, I cannot make anyone genuinely be sorry for what they've done. I have to accept it, and I have to be the bigger and better person for me in my choices and not worry about others. So this is a message from me to you and to all those watching, and don't ever feel that you're too big or prideful to tell someone that you're sorry and, and, and mean it. Because it means nothing if it's just words. It's your girl.